Australian Open Dance Sports Championships 2021. This is the place where, where I didn't expect to see you. Well, so, yeah, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Thank you for stopping by. You are going, she's going to the airport at, at 8 p.m. Yeah, right? like really, really soon. <laughs> so you're traveling all the time, every week? Every weekend I am in a different city, whether it's in the United States or somewhere else in the world. So yeah. Okay, tell me honestly, you do have a house? Yes, right? I, I do have a house, okay. yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why if you're traveling all the time? <laughs> I mean, I have a puppy and I have a boyfriend and we have 24 fish in our backyard. And like, 24. yeah, it's not on purpose. They just kind of keep multiplying with each other and I don't know anything about fish so we just keep feeding them and they keep being there so awesome. I feel like I need to take care of them but you know what watching you today you teaching kids from all like all, all, all ages trying to give some wisdom trying to help them out and I was wondering looking at you and I was like you got so successful and throughout your career what principles did you use to get there and what would you recommend to, to the new generation What's interesting is, you know, I grew up with a, with a very interesting family dynamic. We were all dancers. Uh, my mom was a ballerina. My dad is Buddy Schwimmer, who's, yeah. you know, the king of swaying or whatever. And my uncle's Donnie Burns. You know, like it's it's a whole it's a whole thing. So it's like, a cool uncle to have. yeah, he's he's all right. We like Donnie. I'll, I'll keep him around. But no, it's you know, I grew up here. I grew up in the ballroom, and I was the little kid that would collect rhinestones, you know, on the side of the floor, and then like glue it to things, and I would sleep under the ballroom tables. Like that was my childhood. So I grew up knowing how hard it is to achieve technique and just the, the, the etiquette of what ballroom dancing is. True. Um, not just with ballroom, but I mean, you know, my mom is a ballerina, so for me, I had to do ballroom and ballet and somehow fuse the two together and, and really make that work. So for me, you know, growing up in kind of both worlds, right? The commercial world and the ballroom world yeah. and, and all of this stuff, it was like, there was no one else doing what I did, you know, to kind of help guide me. So I, when I think about it, yeah. Yeah, I- Very unique situation right I kind of had to mold my own path and you know when I was competing it was very uncommon to throw you know your leg in the air or like do a split on the floor you know and now luckily it was much more conservative back then it, it very much was yes but now it's great with the help of like so you think you can dance and dancing with the stars showing that you can kind of cross the bridge a little bit and and pull your outside influences of dance together so that's been like my thing now is I just want kids to understand how hard first of all that ballroom dancing is and I think but isn't it, I'm sorry to, to no, you, but isn't no. it discouraging then like guys this is difficult and and half of the class is just in tears yeah. right? well if I was <laughs> I have taken many classes like that so yes I understand <laughs> I think for me because I've kind of done both worlds right yeah. I I know how to speak to them and I know and I can see that the yes. pace of how to teach them because Normal just dancers, commercial dancers, jazz, tap, hip hop, whatever, they're used to such a faster pace. Whereas ballroom dancers want the slower the better, like let's break down a hip action for two and a half hours, you know? So for me, it's about finding that balance, right? How much information can I get across in the shortest amount of time and for it to stick? So I actually, I learned that from my dad. My dad is one of the best coaches and teachers I've ever seen. I don't know if you've ever had a chance yes. to take from him, but... I saw his lecture. Yeah, he, you know, he's just, he's kind of a, a, a baddie in that sense. Like, he just knows how to teach. So as a kid, I would just study. I studied him. So then, what helped you? So it is very difficult. We, we established that. But what helped you throughout your career? I would say, yourself? honestly, I just love dancing. And I mean, I think, you know, whether you start dancing at a young age or if you find it later on in life, you know, we all do it because we genuinely love the feeling it gives us, whether it's releasing emotion or or performing, like everyone loves a performance. Like we love getting dressed up. We love putting on the rhinestones, like it's fun. So for me, that's what really drew me to it. Not the competition aspect, like the competition I could give or take. I mean, I, luckily I, I placed very well, but even if I hadn't, I don't, I don't think I would have stopped because it's just so much fun. I mean, look behind us. Like, it's awesome. Yes. It's amazing. It's incredible this is energy. That's what I love. Yes, we, we all do. And I want to try to spread that to dancers who might not ever experience something like this, you know, or, or vice versa. Bring them into the world of, of classical and commercial dancing. So for me, I just want to bridge that gap a little bit and give every dancer an opportunity. That's awesome. So, okay. So you you're giving so much energy. So how do you recharge from traveling? Because we all know it's difficult to travel every week. Yeah. You know, you, plus yeah. you have your own convention. Yeah. You need to organize everything. How do you recharge? Uh, I'll 
I'll get back to you on that one. No, I <laughs> honestly, I'm I'm like the biggest grandma. I I, I really Whoa. enjoy just staying home, watching Netflix. Like, I live in Las Vegas, the town that you think, you know, oh, let's go do yes. Vegas. Like, as soon as she told me I'm in Las Vegas, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, no, no, no. That would be like saying I live in New York and you think I live in Times Square. Like, it's very, very different, you know. Like, I have That's grass. Fun. I have a tree in my backyard, you know. Oh, no. Good for you. Good yeah, for you. thank you. I and water plants. And the little cactus. I do have cactuses. We call them succulents. I'm sorry. But I also have an herb garden. Okay. I know. That's awesome. It dies a lot, but I it's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, no, it's, you know, I, I enjoy the normal things because, I mean, as you know, living yes. out of a suitcase gets very, very old, sleeping in beds that aren't your own. So, you know, my boyfriend is a big headliner in Las Vegas, a musician out there. And so for him, he's home no matter what he does. For me, it's like I have to travel for work. Absolutely. So I, I find pleasure in the simple things. That's awesome. How do you, okay, how do you keep relationships and going? I mean, do you go on dates? Do you, I, I don't know, do you just buy, how do you revive this all? Well, we Your been, advice. Your we, life advice. Come so, on. like, listen, uh, it's definitely a struggle, you know, yes. especially when you're in the, struggle. it's a great struggle, and I've been doing it for nine years with him, and I couldn't be more happy. But, you know, he's an entertainer. He gets it. He gets that you have to be somewhere. You have to be performing. You have to be educating and teaching. And he goes on tours as well. So, you know, for us, it's more about appreciating each other's jobs and how great we are at it and, and cheerleading each other on, you know, giving, giving each other that support, um, even if we can't be there together of course yeah and let's uh, lastly let's speak about your convention you, yes. so you said you just finished one yeah so I own and operate my own convention and what that basically means I mean I guess in ballroom terms it's like lectures but we don't talk we dance and we we teach musicality we teach performance we teach dynamics we teach technique we teach choreography dance history and it's a day of just nothing but ballroom dancing from ballroom dancers who understand both sides of the dance world fence. Which is very difficult. That's it's very difficult. It's its own language. It really is. But my goal, I mean, you know, ballroom is my passion. It always has been since I was a very, very little girl. And if I can bring more dancers to ballroom dancing, I'm happy. That's awesome. Yeah. You're so sweet. Oh, thank thanks. you for stopping by. Yes, I mean, thank you for having I did, me. I did not I did not expect that is there's gonna be such a cool interview. Oh, thank you and thank you. have a safe flight. Yes, thank you. Thank I wish you could stay for more because I we're know. gonna have so much I fun know. at South Open here at at the evening yeah. sessions. Uh, you your peers are performing too, so that would be I so know awesome. a lot of my friends are here. Uh, I, I can't wait to see Karina. I haven't seen Karina yeah. since we were on TV together. So I, I, yeah, I'm I'm very excited to be here. I'm gonna run around and go say hi to people. <laughs> have a safe have a safe. Light. We'll yes. see you guys so so much to LEDs all on my dash and I can't drive straight Pupils dilate, 180 on the highway I'm a big flex, living life my way Ride away like Roddy Toddy's all up on my body This new flow